Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about my May favorites. I cannot believe it is almost June. Where did the time go? In May I graduated from my college. I started my job. I'm getting ready for grad school. <laughs> A lot has happened in May and it is just crazy that it has blown by so quickly. And I've noticed I put together kind of like my favorites and I have a theme. It's like pink. Don't ask me. Oh, I found another favorite. So this month has been absolutely crazy. Um, I've loved every second of it. A lot of changes, a lot of transitioning, and I am so excited to go over my favorites with you. Again, I have a theme, it's pink. You'll see it all throughout my favorites. I don't know why. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up so I know that you want me to continue to do uh, monthly obsessions for everyone. And let's just get on my hands or doing its own thing. Let's just get on with the favorites. The first favorite I have, ugh, it's so good. This is called Anna and the French Kiss and I originally heard about it from Kathleen Lights. I was like, oh yeah, you know, another book, oh okay. I read it in like five hours, it was crazy. This is such a good book. It's basically about this girl who goes and is sent to Paris for kind of like boarding school, kind of. She falls in love with this guy and I won't tell you anything else, but it's so good. If you like sarcasm and you like witty humor, you're gonna love this book. So I already have like the other two. They're not like sequels to this book, but I love the author Stephanie Perkins. She did such a good job writing this book and I love it and I'm gonna frame it. If you have the option, get this book. My second odd favorite is this necklace. My mom got it for me um, from Express to wear on my graduation day and I love this. This is what it looks like. Just goes like right here. It's so super pretty and it's just, it's it's a little heavy so if you get headaches easy, don't wear them, which I don't know why I wear it because I get headaches easy. I love this, I think it's really pretty. It goes with a lot and I love the little marbled little runs through it, through each of the things and I love it. I think it's such a pretty necklace. If you're at Express, they have really good jewelry there. My next favorite is this ba uh, Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Sleep. Uh, it's the lavender vanilla body lotion. I keep this by my bed every single night and I've recently started to try and like put it on my hands before I go to bed because my hands get really dry really easily. And so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. So I got it and I put it next to my bed. I've been using this every single night and I think it genuinely makes me sleep better. I kind of inhale it kind of like aroma, I mean aromatherapy, <laughs> but I inhale it kind of like in my hands and kind of like where my hands are. I always smell it before I go to bed. It smells so good and it's really relaxing. So I have been loving this one for right before bed. And they do have other kinds um, if you're not into lavender vanilla scents. They have a whole range of different scents that you can pick from. So the next favorite I have is actually this doesn't look very used, but I promise I'm using it. This is the Surface Hydrating Oil and it's supposed to shine, protect, restore, and you can use it wet or dry. This smells like heaven. I'm not even kidding. I went to my hairdresser uh, a couple weeks ago and she put this in my hair. I could not stop smelling it. I wanted her to just like put it in her hands and let me smell it for hours. And actually you can even use it on your face. It has basu, babasu oil. She said that she uses this on her face like to take off her makeup every night, like as a cleansing oil because it's good for your skin. It's kind of like argan oil where you can, it has very many purposes. I haven't used it on my face yet, but this stuff in your hair, it makes it so shiny and you can't even, you probably can't see how shiny my hair is today, but I have it in my hair and I put it in when it's drying and then I put it in again after like before, as it's dried and all you do is do like four drops on one side and then four drops on the other, like really, really little amounts and it goes such a long way, but I love this. It smells so good. And Surface is supposed to be a really good organic brand. If you are in the market for a new hair oil, then I would definitely try this one because it's so good. My next item is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. That's not English. Setting spray. And I thought I wasn't gonna get much out of this tiny little bottle, but it lasts. it's lasted a really long time and I find that it really helps with the staying power of my makeup. Um, I never used to set my makeup with 
uh, spray just because like I'm not a fan of getting my face wet. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. Like the thought of drenching my face in spray like doesn't appeal to me, but I've tried this and it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't like linger. It doesn't get in your mouth and everywhere and it's gross. So I have been loving this for setting my makeup and I find that my makeup lasts a lot longer when I do. If I go a day and I forget to set my makeup, I feel naked. This is awesome and it's a really good alternative to like the Urban Decay All Nighter, the Chill, those higher end makeup setting sprays. So I think this is really good and you can find it at your drugstores. Next I have this Real Techniques contour brush and it looks like this and it's really little and it's actually really great for contouring or setting your under eye. I think it's really good. It kind of gets in that little crevice of your cheek right underneath your cheekbone really well. And all I do is kind of like play Place it with this guy and then I go in and buff it out with a different brush but I think this is so great and so small and I think it works really well as a contour brush so I've been using this like crazy and this also comes in a set I don't know if you can buy this like individually but I found it at Walgreens so Real Techniques is stepping up their game with like getting into Walgreens the next item is a ColourPop um, super shock shadow in weenie and I have Lala which is really similar but I have been using this one like crazy this is what it looks like I mean that is shine so that is me barely swiping it on my hand and I just love the color payoff I love how long it wears I think these last a little longer just because of the cream the creamy formula rather than like the makeup geek um, foiled eyeshadows I love those but they tend to crease on me so I love this for having a really metallic high like pigmentation eye and I just think it's so pretty it goes with so many looks it's just kind of like a neutral for me this rose gold I think I actually wore this to my graduation so that is the first pink thing. This favorite is a Wet n Wild the Mega Glow Multi Stick and I found this in Walgreens. They didn't have the powder versions um, for my Walgreens. They were all sold out and so I got uh, Marigold Round and this is beautiful. It is such a cool toned um, if I had to describe it, I would I would compare it to the um, dupe that, the You Glow Girl from Ofra. That's what I would compare it to just because it's so similar. It's almost like white. It's that right there. It's really pretty. It's almost like a gray, it sounds weird, but it, this is almost like a gray toned pink. I think it looks absolutely beautiful, especially like blended out. When you put it on your skin first, it's a little intense and then you blend it out and see how it just gives my hand like an all over glow. I think it's really pretty, especially for these long summer days that are coming up and you need a highlight to really stay. I put this on right after I do my foundation before my powder and then I put another highlight just on top. And when that powder highlight fades, I still have this underneath it. So I think this is awesome. I'm really happy with this product and it was really inexpensive. I feel like a, um, I feel like a pirate in this, like the second to last favorite I have is the Buxom. Good question. I should figure this out first, Kate. This Buxom full on lip cream in white Russian. And this is really pretty. It's not what I have on today. I have a different Buxom gloss on today. This is a lot more nude. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And it adds just kind of like a light sheen to your lips. And it makes your lips almost tingle. That's the gloss right there. It's not super sticky. To me, that's a huge issue because if I'm like out and about and the wind gets in like my hair, blows my hair and my lip gloss and it gets everywhere and then they're sticky everywhere. Like I like a very smooth and kind of like barely there lip gloss. So the only thing I can really feel is like the tingling on my lips because it does have like a plumping effect to it. But other than that, I think it's really pretty and it's an awesome topper on pretty much any lipstick that you have because it's so nude and it wears a long time. <laughs> Camera, why you die? The last favorite of the month I have is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Gemini. This is my first liquid lipstick from him. I've heard awesome things. I've heard these are the best liquid lipsticks that anyone will ever have and anyone will ever make and so I heard a lot of hype about this and I believe in it. It's really good. 
So this is the color that I got. A lot of his colors that he comes out with are very out there and very colorful. So it's not something I would wear on a day to day basis. So I was really excited when he came out with this as an alternative to like getting um, androgyny who which is sold out all I mean, all of his liquid lipsticks are sold out all the time because they're in such high demand and they go so quick that I loved this as kind of like a terracotta nude. And actually in the packaging, it looks lighter than it is on my lips. So like when you take it out, it looks a lot darker than in the tube. It's light and it's comfortable. It doesn't ever feel like your lips are drying out. And I'm someone, like I said in a video, a couple videos back, that I do not do liquid lipsticks because they dry out my lips. I feel like I have to spend days repairing them just because I wore a liquid lipstick one day. But I can wear this and my lips are fine the next day. I can wear this all day long from morning until night and it's still on there. I mean, granted with like a little touch up in the, like the middle of where you're eating or something. This is absolutely beautiful. I love the terracotta color. The only thing I'm kind of eh about is like the root beer scent. I can see how a lot of people are put off by the by the root beer scent. I don't know how many more are gonna have the root beer scents. I, it doesn't bother me necessarily because it goes away pretty quickly. It's, that's just something to keep in mind. His other ones like androgyny. So like his earlier ones don't have the um, root beer scent in it. So if you're looking for more unscented then go to his older liquid lipsticks but this is definitely a new color and I was so excited when I received it and I have been wearing it non-stop it makes me want to go buy more good job Jeffrey oh those are all the favorites that I have to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope May was an awesome month for you guys as well. I hope that May is a beautiful start to an awesome summer. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.